If you've been on the internet for more than a few days, you've likely seen at least one advertisement teaching you how to make thousands of dollars a day, working in your underwear, in the comfort of your own home. These ads are so ridiculously popular that if you're like most people, you start doubting whether it really is possible to make money online. The truth is, it is possible. It might be hard to make thousands of dollars a day from the get-go, but there are certainly ways you can make at least $50 a day working from home with ease. We are not saying it's easy to make $50, but if you figure out something you actually enjoy doing and that you are good at, your chances to make a living or at least a supplementary decent income with it are high. We have been working online full time for over five years and we have tried all of the methods presented here so we can guarantee that it is possible to make money with each of them. In this course, we are going to share with you 20 different ways in which you can create real online income. We have tried to cover all types of methods for all different personality and skill types, and we are confident that you'll be able to find at least a few that sound good to you. While some of them require more work than others, please know that you can mix and match. For example, maybe you can do a few hours writing articles for $30 and then make up the extra $20 doing something else. The key is to have fun and do whatever you enjoy. In this course, we have given an overview of each idea and then flesh them all out a little bit so you can get started on whatever you like immediately. It is our sincere hope that you get a lot out of this course and that you take action and start making money. Sites owners need to keep their sites current and up to date to remain popular and keep visitors returning but they don't have the time to keep creating new content for them. Because of this problem, they hire people who can write on their behalf. In fact, there's thousands of writing opportunities online, many of which pay well. It's knowing how to find the best potential markets, delivering writing that works well online, and growing initial assignments into ongoing relationships that can set you apart from other writers. A good article writer will need to possess good grammar and should communicate well via the written word. The best way to make more money with less work is to specialize in a specific niche. That way, you will write articles way faster and you can create a portfolio on that topic and use some sample work to introduce yourself to some established websites in that topic in case they need your help. In order for you to become a content writer, here are some steps you can take. Spend some time learning how to research and write a quality article. Post a profile on freelancing sites such as freelancer.com, guru.com, upwork.com, etc. Describe your interests and your level of expertise. Look for article writing jobs on the same freelancing sites and apply for them. Email the owners of websites that you are already like and check if they are looking for writers. Submit your articles to revenue sharing websites where they will pay you a certain amount for every view or ad click from your post. Join Facebook groups on the niche you feel comfortable writing and directly contact people that own websites that could use your content. Two of the top revenue sharing sites are Hub Pages. This site is really simple to use. All you have to do is join and upload your first article. You'll need to have your article approved but as long as it's 700 plus words and free from grammatical and spelling errors, then there shouldn't be a problem. The only drawback is that you need to apply for your own Google AdSense account to get paid. But don't worry, it only takes a few minutes to get one. Text Broker. Text Broker has a few more hurdles than some of the other sites on this list. It's only open to US citizens and you'll need to submit a sample article when you register. They will then review your sample article and give you a rating between two to five stars. You can earn anywhere from 0.7 cents to five cents per word, depending on your rating. The minimum payment is $10 by PayPal. Lastly, you can post articles that sites will pay you on a per article basis. One of the most popular sites is iWriter. Their rate is around $1.25 for a 150 word article and their minimum payout is $20. One downside is that clients on iWriter do not have to approve your article. If they reject it, you won't get paid. 
Typically, you'll get around 80 to 90% of your articles approved, while the other 10 to 20% will require some editing. Delivering high quality content will help you earn more money on this site. After you've received four star reviews for 30 articles, you'll become a premium writer, doubling your pay. And when you hit 30 articles with 4.5 star reviews, you'll get triple pay and be an elite writer. So how much can I make out of article writing? Content writing jobs can pay anywhere from $1 to over $100 based on the length of the article, quality, and your expertise. If you're already an expert on the topic you're writing about, you can often charge a premium. Even if you are new to writing, you can make upwards of $1 for each 100 words you write. 2. Blogging. If there's something that you're really passionate about, you can create a blog where you can talk about it regularly. This is a fun way in which you can share your passions while learning and teaching about what you're already excited about with like-minded people. In order to become a blogger, you would need to be a decent writer with the ability to write interesting, thought-provoking, or entertaining content. You would also need to be able to post fairly regularly to your blog so that it can grow and build a strong following. Blogs can make you money in several ways. Just some of the ways are to have people pay you to post their advertisements by using a search such as buysellads.com. This is best for blogs with a lot of traffic or by putting Google AdSense ads on your blog. With this option, Google will pay you each time someone clicks on their advertisements on your blog. The amount of money you can earn per click will depend upon the topic of your blog and the competitiveness in the marketplace for advertising in your certain niche. A third option is to sell affiliate products related to the topic of your blog. If, for example, you had a blog about weight loss, you could locate a weight loss product that has an affiliate program, which you can find at clickbank.com, and either put banners up on your blog or promote it to your newsletter if you're collecting the email addresses of your visitors. In order for you to become a blogger, here are some steps you can take. First, you will need to choose a blogging platform. The most common and the one we highly recommend is WordPress. After you have your new blog looking how you like it, you can then start posting news, lessons, stories, articles, or anything relevant to your blog. Try to add new content as frequently as possible so that you build up a regular readership base. As Google and other search engines discover your blog, you should start to see more visitors coming into your blog as they find you via searches related to your blog topic. To get more free visitors from the search engines, your posts should contain keywords that people regularly search for on Google. Some other ideas to get more visitors are to post your new blogs in Facebook groups related to your niche so people can share it around. Another option is to comment on established blogs related to yours so that their readers can click on the website link in your comments and visit your blog. How much can I make out of blogging? It can take some time to establish a blog, but the profit potentials can be quite large. Your earnings will vary based on the amount of traffic you get, how interesting your content is, how often you post, and the types of advertisements you put on your blog. We run a travel-related blog where our main source of income are affiliate links for Booking.com and sponsored posts written by other authors, and we make around $400 from it per month. People who make good counsellors are usually those who are interested in psychology, self-awareness, as well as self-improvement, and also have a strong desire to help others with their problems. A good listening ear also helps. 
In order to become an online counsellor, here are some steps you can take. Create a website that lists your current qualifications and how you are able to help people. Just be sure not to overstep what you're legally allowed to say and do. Once you have a website, you can start advertising it on social networks, amongst friends, in local newspapers, and with pay-per-click marketing, such as Google AdWords and Bing Ads. Something even as simple as placing an ad in the yellow pages or local newspapers can be an effective way to generate new business. Once you start taking new clients, you will start to build up your customer base and see repeat appointments. When first starting out, you should start collecting testimonials from the people you help and then put those testimonials on your website to build your credibility. There are numerous websites and colleges which offer online counseling courses that you can use to enhance your skills and credibility. Here are a couple of the most popular ones. Blackford Center for Counseling. They give you the tools and techniques you need to help people as a counselor. The course is full of activities, suggestions, tips and ideas that you can instantly use with your clients. They also explain how to set up your own counseling practice. The Institute of Counseling. According to their website, the course you choose will extend your natural talents and make you a more effective counselor or career. According to their website, the course you choose will extend your natural talents and make you a more effective counselor or carer. Your interpersonal skills, like those of listening, understanding, and empathizing, will be explored and developed so that the help and support you ultimately give will be effective. Online Counseling College. The Online Counseling College offers opportunities for professional development and personal growth. All of their courses are available to first-time students as well as to experienced practitioners. How much can I make out of being an online counsellor? Depending on your skill level and reputation, you can make anywhere from $15 to $200 per hour and upwards. Just like real-world counselling, the salaries of online counsellors can vary quite a lot depending on your location and qualifications. If you're starting out in the field, you shouldn't expect to be making as much as someone who has 5 to 10 years of experience, who might make upwards of $100,000 annually. If you are working independently as an online counsellor, you have the power to set the prices for your services, which means you will have at least a little more control over your income than someone working for an organisation. 4. Online Translation Imagine for a moment that you've written an article, a book, or even created a video. You made it in your native language, but you'd like people in other parts of the world to access it. You will need to hire someone who speaks your own language and your targeted language fluently. It's where translation jobs come in handy, and you can make money from it as a freelance translator online. Especially if you know one of the languages which are in huge demand right now, including German, Japanese, and Chinese. If you want to be a translator professionally, you should consider taking a language proficiency test, such as the Defense Language Proficiency Test, or other language proficiency tests to show potential clients that you are indeed fluent in your specific languages. Like most online work, gaining experience is essential. It is crucial to get experience where you can show samples of your work to potential clients and get recommendations. In order for you to become a freelance online translator, here are some steps you can take. Describe your interests and level of expertise in freelancing websites. Look for translation jobs on the same freelancing sites and apply for them. There are many sites which provide translation services exclusively. You can submit your known languages and get hired through any of those sites as well. Facebook groups on the topic. Offering to tourism websites to translate their websites. Here are some of the top online translation companies. Translators Cafe. This website is one of the best when it comes to finding translation jobs. You upload your CV, choose your rates per language combination, upload a profile picture, and describe your specialization, as well as any other services you offer, such as subtitling, editing, interpreting, localization, transcriptions, etc. Translators Town. 
Translators Town is basically a bidding site similar to the freelancing sites above, with the only difference being that it's specifically for translation services. The size of the jobs available will vary from client to client, like all other bidding type sites. There are even small jobs where the client may only want a photo caption translated. Then there are the larger translation jobs where the client may need a book translated into another language. Pros. Pros.com is generally meant for professional translators with good experience, but there are also amateur translators as well. Registration takes no longer than a couple of minutes and then you'll be ready to bid on their translation jobs. To bid, you will need to pay one US dollar per bid. It's a good idea to deposit a few dollars into your account when starting. This site allows the employer to contact the freelancers directly and all payments are direct too. So there are no fees except for the bidding fee, which is quite low. With bigger projects, I would recommend some kind of guarantee of payment from the employer for protection, unless they are very reputable. How much can I get paid for online translation jobs? You can get paid anywhere from one cent upward per word, depending on the demand for the language pair you specialize in. If the number of translators for the language are scarce, then you can charge a higher rate per word. Five. Service reselling. Many companies and individuals look to hire people in order to help them expand their online presence, to manage their blogs or forums, or to help assist them with other time-consuming tasks. If you are good at managing small groups of people, you can act as an agent for a team of specialized outsourcers. You would do this by identifying people that can do certain work and then advertise their services to online businesses via your own sales website. In order to make money, you would simply mark up the price on the fee of the outsourcers so you can make a profit. For example, you could offer article writing services on your website for $20 each, but then go and pay an outsourcer that you've found $10 to write the actual article for you. Your goal would be to find a good selection of outsourcers that you can rely on and who can deliver quality work. One way to check is to simply order their services as a customer and check the quality. Running this type of business can save people a lot of time. If, for example, you built a service based around content creation, a website owner only needs to access your website and order their desired content. If they were to go to a freelancing site, they would have to submit their requirements, wait for outsourcers to place bids, then they would have to screen all the bids and then finally choose someone to do the work. If they have large volumes of work that needs to be done, they might need even more than one worker, which makes the task of vetting outsourcers even more stressful and time consuming. That's where a service like yours would come in handy for busy business owners, especially if they can come to trust your work. When choosing people to work with, it's important that you only work with outsourcers that you know and trust. If you deliver bad quality content or services to your customers, the chances are they won't return for repeat work and might even leave you bad reviews. Some of the most popular services that you can build a website for are SEO, content creation, banner design, and website design. A great place to look for ideas is at fiverr.com. You'll find literally thousands of services being offered there and at really cheap prices that you could easily mark up. In order for you to become an outsourcing middleman, here are some steps you can take. Browse through freelancing sites such as fiverr.com, guru.com, upwork.com, etc. to find people that you can hire. Check the quality of their work by making an order as a customer or by asking for samples of previous work. Consider working with outsourcers outside of freelancing sites to avoid unnecessary fees. Freelancing sites help protect buyers and sellers but if you establish good relationships with your workers, then that won't be an issue and you can work with them directly. If your business becomes successful enough, you may even consider hiring the outsourcers on a full-time or hourly basis. Create a professional looking website where you lay out the services you offer, as well as your prices and turnaround times. Include lots of testimonials as soon as you receive them. Start advertising your site on places such as Google AdWords and Bing Ads and websites and forums where your services would be desirable. 
start building up your customer base by doing a great job. Again, this would come down to you selecting a team of workers that deliver high quality work and start collecting testimonials from the people you help. How much money can I make out of being an outsourcing middleman? A lot of how much you can make depends on the type of services you offer, how many clients you can handle simultaneously, and how well you can market your services. You can expect to take at least 30% of the final price of the service you provide. 6. Employee Referral Programs There are many companies out there that are willing to pay you a hefty referral bonus if you can help bring their business qualified new employees. If you have relationships with any recruiters or happen to know a lot of people, this could be a simple method for you to earn some extra money for very minimal effort. Even if you don't know many people, you can use the internet to find hundreds of potential prospects that you can refer to these companies. Currently, one of the most likely professions to offer bonuses are in the IT industry because of their high demand. This can be a great opportunity for you because you can find an abundance of IT professionals online who are looking for work. In order to become an employee referrer, here are some simple steps that you can take. You might be surprised to know that more companies have referral programs than not, which can open up a lot of opportunities for you to find them employees. If you're not sure if a company has a referral program, all you have to do is give them a call and find out. Be sure to inquire about any conditions they have before bonuses are paid out. A couple of good examples of online companies that offer referral bonuses are HubSpot and Atlassian. Both of these companies offer a massive $30,000 and $2,000 referral bonus respectively. The best part is those bonuses are not restricted to current employees. Anyone can make a referral and be eligible for the cash payouts. You will, however, need to check with each company for any conditions that need to be met before a referral payout is made. If you currently work with a company that has a referral program, that would be one of the best places to start. Companies tend to heavily favor referrals from people who already work for their company, so your chances of success will be much higher. Check with people in your network and see if any of them are looking for a job. Go to freelancing sites such as Freelancer, Guru, Upwork, etc. and browse through some of the profiles of people working on those sites. Start communicating with people who have good ratings, qualifications and sound good and ask them if they would be interested in a more regular job. When you locate prospects, you can then refer them to the HR of the company you are working with. If they get hired, you will get paid. Another option is to build relationships with other recruiters. By doing this, you can get their lists of current job openings where the companies are desperate for new employees. This type of relationship can turn out to be very lucrative. Use jobhubble.com. Jobhubble is an online recruiting platform that's made specifically for companies seeking new employees through referrals, sharing their jobs online via social media channels. Jobhubble helps companies increase their social exposure by tapping into networks of recruiters with established social networks and who are willing to share their job openings online. When a person gets hired for a position, the social recruiter will earn a cash reward. All you would have to do is share the job openings on your social media networks and get in touch with friends and other potential clients you've found with other methods discussed in this article. If any company hires someone through any of your referrals, you'll get paid. So how much could you make from being an employee referrer? Bonuses can range anywhere from as little as $50 all the way up to tens of thousands. Some companies are now starting to offer other rewards rather than just money too. How much you can get paid will depend on the type of position needed. The more qualifications the person needs and the more the job pays, the more you will get paid. 7. Drop shipping. There are many people who have considered selling on eBay or other websites but hated the idea of having to buy and store products, packaging them, and then finally shipping it to their customers. A good alternative for those is called drop shipping. 
The best part about this method is that you don't have to deal with any of the problems mentioned above. In fact, you won't even have to touch the products at all. When you drop ship, all you have to do is sell the products. As soon as a sale is made and you receive payment, your dropshipping company or wholesaler will ship the product out on your behalf to the customer. All you have to do is give them their name and address. Just about anyone can start dropshipping to make some extra money. In order for you to start dropshipping, here are some steps you can take. Get yourself an account with eBay or other online auction sites as a seller or create your own e-commerce website. Locate wholesalers who provide dropshipping services. One thing to make sure is that they don't use their contact details on the packages that are sent out, otherwise you could miss out on potential future business with them. You can learn more about different dropshipping companies here. Email or call manufacturers to find out if they dropship, and, if so, do they deal with retailers directly or through a distributor. Doing this will entail that you know the business firsthand. There are many business-to-business, -business, B2B, publications available, for free, on sites like Free Trade Magazine Source. You should consider subscribing to a few magazines that are in your desired niche. These publications frequently list product manufacturers as well as who you should contact. Choose which products you want to sell. Start advertising these products on eBay or on your own website. Other places to advertise could include Pay Per Click, on sites like Google AdWords and Bing Ads. How much money can I make from dropshipping? How much you earn will depend on the difference between the wholesale price you pay and the sale price you sell at. You can make anywhere between a few extra bucks all the way to thousands of dollars per sale, depending on what kind of goods you're offering. 8. Buy and sell on eBay. Anybody can make money off eBay but you just need a plan. Putting up random items and spending lots of money on listing fees is not the best way to go. You will have to find items that will sell well. Sometimes people misspell their auction listing or don't really know the value of what they're trying to sell, which means you can score some really great bargains that you can resell for a nice profit. Here's how eBay works. As a seller who lists items on eBay, from cars, books, electronics to antiques, you can choose to accept only bids for an item, auction, or you can offer a buy it now option that allows buyers to purchase your item right away at a fixed price. In the auction model, the bidding will open at a price that is set by you and will remain on the eBay listings for a certain number of days. Shoppers and buyers will then place bids on your items. When the listing has ended, the buyer with the highest bid wins the auction. With a buy it now listing, the first buyer willing to pay the seller's asking price gets the item. In order for you to buy and sell on eBay, here are some steps you can take. Go through eBay and see what items you can find at a bargain rate. Purchase items which you think will sell well at a higher price. You may also want to create a website and advertise your products on places other than eBay such as the Amazon Marketplace and Nextworth. Research items before you spend money purchasing them. Don't buy high-priced items such as computers or TVs and end up stuck with them. Low-cost items in bulk may be a better option to start with. You just have to find stuff that will sell and sell for a nice profit. Stock up on new inventory quickly. You will want to keep your store and listings going especially if you've found a winning product. Don't wait until you are depleted to get new supplies. In the beginning, you can find free items to sell from friends and family. It is much easier than spending a lot of money on suppliers and wholesale when you're learning the ropes. When you gain more experience, you will understand that you can gain a competitive advantage with smart listings. Focus on those listings and find the right time to start and end your listing, which you will discover through testing. Even more advanced sellers can gain greater profits by experimenting with buy it now buttons and reserve price auctions. How much money can I make out of buying and selling on eBay? Many sellers make a good living out of selling items using this popular auction site. But how much you can make will depend on the profit margins you set and the value of each item. 
you can make anywhere from a few dollars, even up to a few hundred dollars for rare stuff. If you're an honest seller with popular items people want to buy, you could easily become a full-time eBay seller in just a couple of months. Your success will be measured by your own efforts. And URLs daily. These semi-automated tools include Social ADR, OnlyWire, and Im Automator. Remember that you don't need to pay. A lot of these sites work very well and are free. 10. Data Entry Data entry does not require any in-depth knowledge or training. The only requirements being the ability to use a computer and to be able to type well. Obviously, you will need basic language skills depending on the language being used. Accuracy is also important and reliability to complete the tasks required. Earning more income is through the time spent entering data, typing speed and whether the task is simple or complex. Many business sectors such as education and retail need physical data converted into an electronic format. This could include entering financial information into a spreadsheet or entering address details to a database. In fact, anything that needs converting raw data into electronic information for the business. It is also possible to make this a second source of income, working part-time against your other commitments. In order to make money with data entry, here are some steps you can take. There are many websites offering freelance data entry work, and these include freelancer.com, guru.com, fiverr.com, upwork.com, etc. If you type into Google freelance data entry job positions, sign up for as many job websites that you can, search for a data entry positions and start applying for them. There are thousands of positions and usually it is possible to negotiate a fee. Remember though, as you are starting out, that you need to keep your fees low. Once you have had some successful tasks completed, you can use these as examples of the work you are able to do. 
Creating accurate work and meeting set deadlines will not only gain you experience, but it will also make you the first choice for that business when they need further work completed. Keep a diary of the different tasks you have completed and any testimonials or feedback you have received that you can use when applying for other data entry positions. Sign up for payments through a trusted third party, such as PayPal, that offers fast payments and also some protection for those payments. What sort of data entry jobs could you apply for? Filling forms with information provided by the company or by using prompts given by the company. Copying text data from one file format to another. Simple typing jobs, which normally need a competence of 30 words per minute. Entering inventories into a spreadsheet. This could be serial numbers, product names, and prices, etc. Copywriting and proofreading. Reviewing articles and correcting grammatical errors and spelling. This could also include correctly formatting a document, such as adjusting alignments. Writing articles from files saved as image files, such as a JPEG file, and rewriting it into a Word document. Writing articles and reviews for a company's needs. This could be, for example, articles that appear on websites. Payroll. This could be creating payrolls into spreadsheets, including names, rate of pay, and so on. Capture entry. This is one of the simplest forms of data entry. There are many companies who need to register in large quantities on thousands of websites. They can create the automatic software to sign up on the websites, but there is no technology to solve these captures automatically. Generally, you will log in with a username and password and then begin to type out the captures. How much can I earn with data entry? It is possible to earn between $1 to $20 per hour, depending on what work you are undertaking and what company you are working for. It is also possible that you will earn by task rather than by hour. Make sure that with anything you are accepting online, that it is legitimate by researching the company and also making sure you have the software required to complete any tasks. Read any reviews available and remain in contact with your employer. Data entry will provide varied work that can be completed at home, so remember to be on time and accurate. 11. Virtual Assistant A virtual assistant is an invaluable asset to any business or company. It's just like having a personal assistant, but one that works from home, normally for one or even a number of clients. Companies benefit as they obtain the help to run their business without the cost and risk of employing someone full-time. You benefit from being able to work from home and choosing the hours that suit you. What skills do I need? You need to be organized, good at researching, have good computer skills, be able to communicate effectively, and have an excellent telephone manner. By working as a virtual assistant, you could be asked to do a number of things, some involving general administrative duties, such as letter writing, organizing meetings, writing up reports, or even researching other companies. The following may be asked of you when becoming a virtual assistant. Can you promote using social media, such as through Twitter or Facebook? Do you have the skills to create web designs or create email promotions? Can you write a press release and or articles for the company? Do you research through the internet or even in printed form? Can you manage customer service, perhaps dealing with orders, complaints, or follow-up calls to customers? Coordinate travel plans with a number of staff using different forms of transport. Arrange visas if required. Help plan an event from the booking of a venue, organizing catering, decorating, and so on. Answer letters and emails promptly in a timely fashion. Do transcription of speech into text. Create a database using the appropriate software. In order for you to become a virtual assistant, here are some steps you can take. Look out for virtual assistant openings on freelancing sites such as Freelancer, Guru, Upwork, etc. Start applying for those jobs. Make sure your applications are detailed and you include any appropriate skills and experiences that you have. 
Advertise yourself on social networks, amongst friends, previous work colleagues, or business contacts. Sign up to an agency. There are many online companies, such as Time ETC, which is the largest UK virtual assistant agency. What you need to consider before you start to apply for VA positions. Categorize your skills and experiences. Consider any large projects you have handled and break them down in order that you can add this as an experience in your applications. Consider what skills you can offer, such as event management, handling customer service, handling telephone calls, and so on. Consider your workspace for running as a VA. The basic requirements may include a spare room or a desk in a quiet room, a phone, good reliable internet access, and an up-to-date computer with webcam access, appropriate software programs, and of course, the time during the day or night that you can offer as a VA. Consider whether you may need additional training, perhaps in web design or particular software packages, such as spreadsheets or databases. Identify your target market. For example, you may have a medical background and you can focus on doctors or medical companies. Register with LinkedIn to create an online presence. Create your own website, remembering that it is possible to build and run a website for little or no cost through free website services. Sign up to an agency that offers support to VAs around the globe, such as Society of Virtual Assistants. Join one of the many Facebook groups for virtual assistants. Virtual Assistant Savvies is a great group to share experiences and knowledge on this kind of work. How much can I make from being a virtual assistant? You can make anywhere between $3 to upwards of $100 per hour, depending on your ability, skills, and experience. Your pay rate will depend on training and the skills that you can offer to your clients. Continue to look at training to further develop your skills and therefore increasing your pay rate. Obviously, the more skills you have, the more money that can be earned. So if you have the skills and experience, time to spare, and an appropriate place to work, you can launch as a virtual assistant. Remember to keep a diary of the work you have completed, look for opportunities to develop, and gain new skills, and the sky's the limit.
You can also make custom shirts for people. For example, some people might want their child or spouse's picture on a shirt. You can use Photoshop to do any touch-ups and then sell the shirt for a premium price. In order for you to make money with designing and selling shirts, here are some steps you can take. Create inspiring designs. Create impressive images, logos, or compelling text via Photoshop or other graphic design software. Get your creations printed on t-shirts and then start selling them online on places such as eBay and Facebook ads. There are many companies that will print custom t-shirts for you. Some of them include Custom Ink and Uber Prints. Experiment with new and unique ideas that make your style stand out. As they say, there is nothing new under the sun, so don't shy away from copying, altering and improving on pre-existing designs of logos, images and text. Be it animals, schools, pyramids, spaceships or antique weapons, you can tap into your imagination and create a unique design. With the state-of-the-art materials and techniques available today, you can create designs that were previously impossible. Another quick way to start earning from your t-shirt design work is to create custom designs on request. Custom designs are specific to the person who has placed the request. For instance, some people might want a certain image on their son's shirt. You can easily use Photoshop for such designing and connect with a t-shirt printer. Get registered in any of the online shopping sites like Amazon Merch and eBay. Upload your shirt images and design details on these online marketplaces which will open you up to a bigger market of customers. Amazon and eBay have a lot of traffic, so you are guaranteed that someone will see your new t-shirt designs. What you need to boost sales is a lot of positive customer reviews and sharing the links to social media sites. Tell your friends and family about your new venture and show them your designs. This can be done by word of mouth or through social media sites like Facebook and Instagram. If you have a lot of followers on social media, this can be a free and easy avenue for selling your shirts. You can upload your design images on a Facebook page and share it with your friends. Instagram also works great, especially when you upload nice photos of your unique design. This is the least costly method because all you need is a social media account and internet connection. How much money can I make out of it? You can actually earn a living online, just designing and selling t-shirts. The amount of money you will make, however, depends on your designs, material and market. You can start by selling t-shirts from around 10 to $20 and upwards as you make your brand stronger. 14. Restore old photos. Some say that a picture is worth a thousand words. If this is true, then our photo albums are a living, physical manifestation of our most treasured memories. Many of the emotional events that transpired in times past will seldom ever be repeated, but thanks to the technological advances in photography, we can relive these occasions at any time in our thoughts. However, photos suffer from an important setback, mainly that, since they are basically printed paper, they are exposed to all the usual wear and tear that affects this type of material. Whether that's the paper getting crumpled, the colours of the image fading, or the photograph getting torn, it's just a few of the hazards that your precious pictures are exposed to. Some people value their photographs dearly and will happily pay an expert to restore the pictures that get damaged from the passage of time. This is where you come in. If you know how to use Photoshop or other photo editing software, you can restore old pictures for people and earn quite a bit of money in the process. The marvels of modern editing techniques can also let anyone give the photos touch-ups, add backgrounds, or do whatever else the client wants. In order for you to make money with editing and restoring old photos, here are some steps you can take. Design a website for yourself. The first step to making money with this type of service is getting yourself out there. List the services you offer. With just a few clicks of a button, you can put your professional profile on various websites and social media outlets for everyone to see. Running Facebook ads and Google AdWords can be very efficient publicity and advertising tools. Tell your friends and family about your new services. At the beginning, your internet advertising tools might not reach a whole lot of potential customers. Because of this, 
it is important that you tell everyone you know about your services. Word of mouth will be a very powerful medium to market yourself in the beginning. The more people spreading the word about your services, the more viral you will become and the more likely they will want to hire your services. How much money can I make restoring old photos? The money you will make will vary on a photo per photo basis. To give a fair price to your customers, you should start by defining a base price that will apply for each photograph or restoring assignment. Then, you will need to analyze each picture and give the client an approximate time in which you will finish the task, along with your hourly rate. This will ensure that your clients get a fair price and that you are well compensated for your services. If this works out for you, you could charge anywhere from $10 to $100 per assignment, depending on the photo, of course. 15. Write SEO optimized content. Many people look for keyword optimized articles in their niche to generate more traffic to their websites. If you have any knowledge of SEO, search engine optimization, and can write keyword optimized articles in any niche, then you can make good money out of it. In order for you to make money writing SEO articles, here are some steps you can take. Get yourself registered in freelancing sites like Freelancer, Fiverr, Upwork, etc. Make a profile with samples of your previous work. It is important that you provide as many samples as possible. Ensure these samples are original and have not been published on any platform. This will give those reviewing your application an easy time deciding on whether or not you meet their standards. Apply for SEO writing jobs on content freelancing sites. Here, you want to start with short, simple articles and progress towards longer and more complex ones. Again, you must make sure you meet all the requirements of the customer. This is where you start building your profile. Get as many positive reviews as possible, as this is what will determine whether you move up the ladder or remain stagnant. The best way to do this is to write articles you are comfortable with. Specializing in a particular niche or category will ensure you write quality. Write articles based on keyword requirements. Submit them back on time and get paid. All your articles must meet or even exceed all customer requirements. If any aspects of the instructions are not clear, it is advisable that you seek clarification from either the customer or client. All the keywords must be used in your article as requested by the customer. You should avoid keyword stuffing at all times. Keyword stuffing is where you use excessive keywords over and over again. Use it exactly the number of times specified by the customer. In cases where the customer does not specify the number of times you can use the keyword, 1-3% to keyword density would be acceptable. Most importantly, you must ensure you write your articles within the time frame provided. Most sites will not accept any late submissions. Register with websites that deal with SEO content creation for clients such as iWriter. Their rate is around $1.25 for a 150-word article, and their minimum payout is $20. One downside, as already mentioned, is that clients on iWriter do not have to approve your article. If they reject it, you won't get paid. Typically, you'll get around 80 to 90% of your articles approved, while the other 10 to 20% will require some editing. Delivering high quality content will help you earn money on this site. After you've received four star reviews for 30 articles, you'll become a premium writer, doubling your pay. And when you hit 30 articles with 4.5 star reviews, you'll get triple the pay and be an elite writer. How much money can I make writing SEO optimized content? You can either charge a flat fee or hourly. If hourly, then you can expect anywhere from $4 to $25 an hour. If by the article, you can charge from one cent per word at the low end or higher. 16. Fiverr. Fiverr is a global online marketplace offering tasks and services, beginning at a cost of $5 per job performed, from which it gets its name. The site is primarily used by freelancers who use Fiverr to offer services to customers worldwide. It would therefore be interesting to find out how this could help thousands of people to earn some extra money from their homes using the power and reach of Fiverr. In order to start making money with Fiverr, 
Here are some steps you can take. There is absolutely no limit or restriction on the products that can be bought and sold in such gigs. The only requirement is that the product or service should be legal and not be banned under the laws of your respective country. Hence, it could encompass a long list of products and services. It could be content writing, translating, posting comments and feedback on various social media networks, teaching and tutoring of various subjects and languages, teaching music and even playing pranks with somebody and making money out of it. There are also many people who are on the lookout for short video clips and also voiceovers. There is a big market available out there. It's just about identifying one area and taking advantage of it. While the default price is just $5, the rates can go up to hundreds or even thousands of dollars per service provided. While $5 might not seem a lot, once the volume starts picking up, it can certainly add up. There are many people who make a decent living through Fiverr. The secret lies in developing a system where time spent on each gig is reduced. Using the concept of reselling gigs to others is making some people decent money also. You could offer logo design services for $50 plus on sites such as Upwork, but pay someone $5 on Fiverr to actually do the work. There are many people who spend $5 but end up making $50 over and over again. How much money can I make from Fiverr? You can earn anywhere to $5 to hundreds of dollars per day. At the end of the day, there is hardly any doubt that those who are smart on the uptake and those who believe in diversifying their sources of income would certainly find Fiverr a wonderful opportunity. 17. Sell handmade items and crafts. Are you a talented artist or craftsman? Is your work an expression of your creativity that you do just for fun? Or are you interested in selling your handmade arts and crafts as a source of income? If you are interested in turning your passion into a business, or even if you want to make some money to help pay for your supplies, here are some steps you can take. The first step you need to take is to evaluate your craft. To sell your crafts online, you must have something that is different from all the other arts and crafts that are being offered. Include lots of pictures. Consumers rarely buy items without first seeing pictures. Increase your chances of making a sale by taking a few pictures of the item you are selling from different angles. Accompany that picture with a detailed description. Fair selling price. It is tricky to sell arts and crafts. Your goal is to make money, but a low selling price virtually guarantees a sale. Unfortunately, you aren't a mass production line, meaning your supplies and time cost more. That is why a fair selling price is important. It ensures you make money, but is low enough to generate consumer interest. When setting your price, consider the cost of supplies and the time spent to make each item. Customization. Since you make your arts and craft projects by hand, you have a unique opportunity to offer an additional service to your buyers. That is customization. Whether an interested buyer would like a different colored wind chime or their name painted on it, you can do it. In fact, state in your listing description that customization and personalization are available for either no extra charge or a small fee. Research what you are going to sell. Hand embroidered dish towels are not going to sell as well to men as they will to women, but intricately tooled leather sheets for hunting knives would be more likely to sell to men. Identifying your potential customers will help you decide on a venue to utilize for selling your handmade crafts. Add up all the costs involved in making your handmade craft. In addition to supplies, include a reasonable estimate of the time you will spend on it. Stop at that point and ask yourself if people will be likely to pay at least that much for your handmade craft. If not, you may have to consider a different item. Otherwise, add in profit for yourself and ask yourself the question again. If you still feel that many customers would find the item an attractive purchase, repeat the process with your next item. Estimate how long it will take you to make each item. This will give you an idea of how many items you'll be able to produce in a week's time. Assuming you can sell everything you produce, this tells you the maximum you could earn. Sell your items on sites such as eBay, Etsy, and Craigslist. 
How much can I make from selling homemade items and crafts online? It really depends on what you are creating and how much time it takes to create, as well as the quality. Smaller items like bracelets, charms, etc. can sell for anything from $5 upwards, while paintings, carvings, and objects that take much time to create can sell for hundreds of dollars or more. 18. SEO Consultant One of the most lucrative online money-making methods is through becoming an SEO consultant. In this career, you will be helping websites rank higher in the Google search engine results when targeted keywords are searched for. Search engine optimization, SEO, is not an easy task, but with a little effort, it can be learned. Your task as an SEO consultant will entail looking at what the clients have on their website and request the necessary changes to make it more SEO friendly. In order for you to become an SEO consultant, here are some steps you can take. Create your website. You will need to be able to communicate with your clients and a website is a good place to do so. Creating a good website is not easy and you may require the help of web designers. You also need to make use of the services of a reliable web host. Once you have created your website, the next thing is to fill it with relevant content and optimize it. Well, you will be promising others top ranking on Google and other search engine results, so your website must lead by example. Many companies believe that if an SEO consultant's website does not rank highly, then they cannot deliver what they promise. And this is not far from the truth. Your website, therefore, is your chance to prove that what you offer actually works. Show samples of previous work. Clients are more likely to trust you if you have helped others previously and obtained positive results. Outline these results on your website and whenever possible, accompany them with a review from the satisfied client. This way, your target clients will know that you are not just talk, but act and deliver on what you promise. Encourage satisfied clients to always leave a review. Find the right clients. When marketing your business, do not do this blindly. Instead, use a targeted approach aiming at clients who are not doing so well in terms of their SEO strategies. Approach them and help drive organic traffic to their websites. Let them know that by raising their ranking in search results, they will be able to reach more clients and subsequently increase their sales. Alternative ways to get clients. Other than marketing your business, you could try looking for and applying for SEO consultant positions on freelancing sites, such as Freelancer, Guru, and Upwork. How much can you make as an SEO consultant? There really is no limit to how much you can make. You could set your prices at an hourly rate. The minimum would be around $10 per hour or set a one-off price for when the client website ranks on the first page of Google. The latter could be $500 or more. The more you charge, however, depends on your level of experience. To attract clients, beginner SEO consultants should charge less. Once you have built a track record for yourself, you can charge higher rates and you will still get clients. Just start low and watch your business grow. 19. Provide online homework help. If you are an expert on any subject, then stop sleeping on it. You can make money online using that knowledge by providing online homework help during your spare time. If you did not know, there is a huge demand for online tutors who can help students with their homework and assignments, etc. The reason for the high demand for online tutors is because students are required to submit their assignments on time and sometimes they can fall behind and need help. You will therefore find that it is challenging for many of them to meet the deadlines of their assignments, especially if they have to prepare for examinations at the same time. In order for you to make money with online homework help, here are some steps you can take. Apply for online homework help jobs. Register with freelancing sites such as Freelancer, Guru, Upwork, etc. and apply for the numerous jobs that are available on these sites. There are also several companies online that you can select from and apply for jobs with. Among the numerous companies, you can try applying with tutor.com, onlinetutoring.com, and many others. As you apply for the jobs, 
you need to confirm and make sure that the company you want to work with is credible and trustworthy. However, you can start with these two examples since they have a proven track record. Create a website. Start your own website and list all the subjects you can provide homework help with, along with pricing and a way to schedule appointments. Starting your own website can make you more money than working for someone else, but it might take time to become established. You can decide to employ other people who are experts like you once you realize that you are getting too many clients. If you realize that there is someone who is interested in working with you and is experienced in other subjects, do not hesitate to include that person on your website. All you have to do is to update your website and include the additional subject or subjects to your previous list. Use a bulletin board. You can consider putting your offer on a bulletin board at a nearby school. This is just another way of attracting clients. In this case, you will have to post regularly so that you can get traffic to your website. Again, you need to have superior knowledge of the subject you want to offer the homework help for. Provide excellent services. After getting clients, you now need to provide excellent service no matter which of the above steps you have taken. This will make you get even more clients since the ones you have served will refer others to you. How much money can I make from providing homework help online? Depending on your experience and expertise on the subject you choose to offer, you can charge from as little as $3 to $50 per hour. Most people who do such jobs charge between $10 and $20, but that depends on your location and the complexity of what is required.
20. Be creative. Remember that you can mix and match these methods if you want. Some of the methods don't make as much money, but because they're fun, they're a nice thing to add to your repertoire. If you see something you like, research it further. The ideas we have provided you with should only be used as start guide. We have used all the methods we mentioned in this course personally in the past years. The most successful method we used was to be creative. We looked at ideas from others and we adapted them in a way that we turned our business idea unique. Being special and unique makes you stand out from the crowd, especially when it comes to working online, where the competition is fierce. We've been working online for several years, and after trying and failing many times, we compiled this list with the most successful way we used to make money.